Hey guys, EVP Man here, and today we're taking a look at the Logitech K600 wireless keyboard. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the Logitech K600 keyboard is an incredibly flexible keyboard, especially for those of you who have multiple devices at home. And let's face it, all of us do. So if you have, for example, an iPad, if you have a MacBook, or you have a Windows laptop, or an Android tablet, imagine having one keyboard that will control them all simply by tapping a button, switching from device to device. And this keyboard does that exact very thing. So let's take a deeper look at the keyboard and why you may want to consider this as an accessory for not just your multimedia needs, but just your multi-device needs. Let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now guys, as you see here, I have a OnePlus, so this is an Android phone that we're gonna be controlling with the keyboard. I have a iPad Pro 2018 that we're also gonna be controlling with the same keyboard. And then last, I have a MacBook Pro 2018, all that we're gonna be controlling with the exact same keyboard. So I'm gonna show you how flexible it is by connecting to any of these devices and how much effort there's really involved. So let's start taking a closer look at the keyboard and then we'll go into the demonstration. All right, so now let's take a look at the packaging and why you may wanna consider this keyboard. So uh, here's the packaging, very discreet, very small, but it also highlights the fact that you're gonna be able to connect to so many different devices. And you can see, you literally can travel from going from your mobile device all the way up to having your large uh, form factor devices. So we're gonna put the box over to the side for a second and take a look at the keyboard. Now the keyboard itself uh, has all the keys that you would expect from a standard keyboard. Uh, you do have nice travel, meaning that accessing each one of these controls or the buttons on the keys is very easy. It does have a series of multimedia controls, as you can see here. These multimedia controls are gonna control either your desktop, your phone, or your iPad, or your Android tablet, simply by pressing in these buttons to increase the volume, decrease the volume, or to play, pause videos or music. It also has brightness controls, right? And then it has these one, two, and three, area here where you see this one two three this is where you can control the devices you're connected to so simply all you do is you press home and the number of the device that you want to go to home and number two and you go to another device home and number three and you go to the third device so you have a lot of flexibility as how you can switch from device to device now the other thing that is important to note is that this keyboard is a multi-purpose keyboard that crosses operating systems. So you'll notice here at the very bottom that we have the option start and command alt. So you do have built in the Android, or in this case, Windows and iOS shortcuts because there's a um, option and a command on uh, the Mac OS, but then there's a start and an alt as you start looking at Windows. So it adjusts for both operating systems. The other thing that you'll notice is that if your keyboard or your device supports it, you do have a, a trackpad here. So if you connect this to your MacBook, you're gonna be able to control it. I'm using uh, the keyboard or the mouse uh, here, this trackpad. But if you connect it to an iPad, remember the iPad does not have any kind of mouse functionality. So this area will not work. That being said, if you do have a Android tablet, you will get a mouse pointer. And if you have an Android phone, it will do the same thing. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I connect this to you know, an Android phone or you know, a small device like this? Well, more and more of us are using our devices, our phones as streaming devices. So if you're using the, your phone connected to, let's say, uh, your PC or more importantly, your TV, you can use this to control your phone. That way you don't have your phone in your hand as you're doing it. So nice access right here. So let's go ahead and connect this because uh, you can see controls are pretty self-explanatory where you have your mouse controls and your trackpad, but let's see how it works. We're gonna connect it to a couple devices and see how this actually functions. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a phone. So the first device we're looking at is the OnePlus 6T. So I've already paired this via Bluetooth just to give you a sense of how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the home button and then press one. And what I should be able to see now is if I move around, you should see that there's a little cursor. See that little cursor there? So this is now connected to the actual phone itself. So if I want to type an email, so if I tap right here and then I basically start typing the word T-H-E, you'll notice that it's already started uh, typing ahead for me. So very responsive and also very fast to connectivity. Now, if I tap the right and left arrow or 
pad here, you notice how it's moving around. So you do have some navigation control. Now the other thing that this keyboard is really good for is even if you have, let's say like a Fire Stick or an Android TV, as long as it has a Bluetooth connectivity, you can connect this to it. Um, you could also use this on your Nvidia Shield. So think about that for a second. So instead of just having the little remote, you could use that as well. So there you go, left, right, up, down controls and keyboard controls simply by pressing home and one. Let me show you how you now can pair it to the iPad and see how that would work. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how do you pair the keyboard to an iPad. So all you're gonna do is press and hold the number two, in this case, because it's position two, until you see that flashing uh, dot. So now that I have it flashing, you'll notice here that I see uh, my keyboard, the K600 there. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna come back and give me a code that I have to type in. So it says that I should type in the 0175. So we're, gonna, we're on the keyboard, we're gonna type 017542. And then we'll go ahead and hit enter. And what we should expect is that the keyboard uh, should be now controlling the Mac, or in this case, the iPad. So if you notice, now it is. So if I go ahead and press my home button, it takes me home. So now I have two devices connected, right? We have the iPad, which is now connected. And if I use the, this, this uh, keypad, I'll be able to control it. Let me take this off of it to make sure that it's controlling it. Um, and we'll do home. Yep, so you see it's working. And then if I wanna switch to the Android phone, all I would do is go to option one, and you notice it, what will happen is it will fla flash, and the phone already gave me an indicator, and you notice I'm back on the phone. If I wanna go to the iPad, I press two in this case, and then what will happen is I'll go over here, and I'll press home, get it off the screen, and you'll notice that it's working. So it responds really quick, so you're able to switch from device to device. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to a Mac. Let's go ahead and try this with my MacBook Pro. All right, so now we went ahead and, I went ahead and paired off camera the keyboard to the Mac. And I just wanted to show you how it was working. So I went ahead and I have it connected to option three, and now you'll notice that as I'm moving the trackpad here, it's actually moving the mouse. And we'll go ahead and bring it around a little bit so you can see the big mouse pointer. So I've gone from a keyboard that is now supporting the Android phone that we're looking at, this one right here, the OnePlus, to one that's connected to this tablet right here, the iPad Pro, and now I have it on a Mac. And all I had to do is just go from one, two, and three. Simply put, I can control all these devices. Now, if you're still not convinced on why you'd want a keyboard like this, let me give you another situation that I use very regularly, and it may be one that you use as well. So when I'm using my MacBook, I only use my MacBook Pro when I'm on the road in this mode right here, what's actually open. I regularly use my MacBook like this. So you're probably asking yourself, how are you able to use it closed? Well, simply put, I connect via the USB-C port to my monitor and I have it just connected on the side because on the back, you'll see the monitor that I have there. I actually have a Windows desktop connected to it. So I have multiple devices that I'm controlling with this keyboard. So simply put, Instead of having a separate mouse and a separate keyboard for every single device, I press option one uh, to get to my Windows desktop, number two to control the MacBook Pro, and then option three for another Mac that I use for other editing needs. So I'm able to switch through all these devices while it's closed and connected to my monitor and just toggle through my monitor settings to access each one of them. So this is a really, really powerful keyboard that simplifies you know, what you're doing in your home. There used to be a time where you'd use like a KVM switch where you'd push a button to switch from, from keyboard or device. This is an all-in-one device that just does it really nicely for you. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is, so let's say you're working, uh, you know, in some cases you're using a commercial um, or corporate enterprise laptop or Mac that may have Bluetooth settings that are locked down and controlled. Well, the other thing that you have is this little dongle right here. You see this one right here? So this is gonna allow you to connect this to your device via USB and then control the keyboard as well. So you don't always have to connect via Bluetooth, especially if Bluetooth isn't available. You could use this little dongle too. And then the last thing is that it does run on batteries, but it has a really decent battery life. So uh, that's pretty much it, our review of this, of this keyboard. Again, it's something that if you have multiple devices in your home, which we all do, going from either, even you can use this on an Apple TV or going on a, you know, a Amazon Fire Stick, an Nvidia Shield or any of these devices, one keyboard, one keyboard to rule them all. So guys, that concludes our review of the K600 Logitech keyboard. Again, 
very flexible keyboard if you have multiple devices. Let me know what you thought of the keyboard in the comment area below. Is this something that you can use? Do you kind of get the examples I was giving in the video? And as always, make sure you share and subscribe. And don't forget that on the 20th, we are going to be at Samsung Live looking at the unpacking event for the S10. So make sure you smash that subscribe button and you hit that little bell icon so that you can notify when we do the live stream. I'll see you in that one. Talk to you soon.